Good evening everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be making the house from the very famous Studio Ghibli film Ponyo. Now this is one of my favourite Studio Ghibli films so I'm so excited to be able to make this. Hopefully it'll look as accurate to the one in the film as possible. We don't get every view of every room but we get quite a few of them. I think we get like um, the couple of the bedrooms maybe, maybe like one bedroom or something. We get the kitchen and living space and of course we get the gorgeous outside. So let's crack on and see how close I can actually get this to to the real one in the film. So of course we're going to start off by doing a little bit of terraforming. This is going to be a little bit tricky I think. Basically it's obviously all on a mountain so what I'm going to do is basically just raise up this entire area just so that it's a little bit more like on an angle and we're going to do that just around the outside. I think I'm just basically going to raise up the inside part. We do have a sort of garage as well where we actually have a car and that has like a flat back to it so we're going to see whether I'm able to do that or not. That's looking a little bit better. Let's see what happens if we now add a fence. I feel like this is going to go very badly. Okay, so it does actually kind of move with the ground, which is good. I was worried it was going to add some weird foundation. Now, the bit that I think is going to go poorly is that I want to do a curved fence around here, which I don't know if it's going to do, because I think that that actually makes it like a room almost, so it's probably not going to work. We'll do it as just a little side one like that. I think that's fine. I'm just using this one for now, but I think there probably are are better fences that we can use just so we can get the shape down. I'm gonna go in now I think and do some of our actual house. So obviously we've got this cute little entrance way over here that is the front door. I'm just gonna do it three by now and we can always change it later if we need to. Now it was very difficult to find any kind of reference like proper references for the house. We do have a slight like side angle where we can see a little shed. I think that's over on this side. So this side of the house over here is actually quite flat. There's not really a whole lot going on. This is the walk way that goes around to the front and to I believe there's like a back door as well. I'm not going to make it like huge but I think something like this is probably about right. I'm actually going to pull it in a little bit and we'll have it be about this size. It actually dips in as well about here so I'm going to add that in now because I completely forgot that it did that. Then obviously going up we have some balconies as well so I'm going to add in our balcony here that goes all the way around and then obviously we've got our normal walls just goes all the way across like this. We have an additional balcony over on this side as well. Then let's have a quick look at around the back of the house so we can get an idea of that. We do have an additional balcony there as well. So we've got one. It seems to jut out again over here. So I'm just going to split it here, I think. Should be fine. And it seems to go out like that. But we do actually have a balcony up here. Hang on, let's have a look. I think I'm going to extend this out just a little bit this way. And that way we can have balcony be a little bit bigger because I think we need at least two squares for the balconies. Then we've got a balcony here and then everything else is normal shaped I think. Okay, so that should be about right for the shape of the house. I can then go in and add our little shed thing that's over this side. There seems to be one as well right at the back over here. So I think they've got two sheds. So we'll add our first shed I think here. It does have this weird platform to it but that'll be fine. We'll probably be able to fix that. It'll be okay. Then let's add our second one which I think is literally just like here right at the back of the house. Then I'm just going to change our fencing so it is just this kind of nice white fencing this one's quite tall though i'm gonna see if there's any other ones that might work a bit better i think i'm gonna go with this one because it's a little bit more rustic and i think it's because in the picture that it is quite rustic and that does kind of make sense because it is on a mountain then extends around we do have like a little bit of a gate there as well but i'll add that in in a second and i don't believe that it goes all the way around so what i'm gonna do is actually just loop it like this we don't really see the back garden that well because they don't really go into it at all but but I know that it doesn't loop all the way around to give us a walkway that far around. So then back to the front, we do have a little bit that just comes around, I think, to where the car is kept over here. Additionally, we do have a big gate, so I'm just going to actually connect those, and then let's find a, it's like a little red gate that we can then add here. It's quite long though, so let's see if we can get a long version that work, works well. Something like this actually kind of works. I think I am going to go with this one. It looks the most similar, I think. Then we do have this weird little section here, which I think what I'm going to do for that, like where we've kind of got our car, it does look like there is some stairs that lead from this back section down to this car part. 
So let's see if we can work out doing the stairs. This is where I think terraforming is going to be a bit messy, just because we do have stairs that lead all the way from this front section to this gate here. And obviously sometimes it works and sometimes it kind of looks like this. Okay, now to make this next thing, it should be relatively easy. I say that, but it might end up being really difficult. And it's basically where we're going to put car. Now, obviously for this, I'm thinking I would like to use this. I think it should be fine. Yeah, looks fine. So we can then do that all the way up to the end there. And that's basically our little car parking space. I'm going to do a little road as well that basically leads up there. We can even add, I'm tempted to add that part there, but it might look a bit funny then when you add it to other things. But there's basically how you get into the house. I do want to maybe blend out this grass a little bit better. It looks a bit funny. There we go. I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So then we need to make this thing that the car is in and it's basically got four wooden beams holding it up or like six I think it's got three on each side something a bit like that that does look a little bit close together though I might budge that up a bit I think let's grab a car and then we'll base it off of that because then we'll have the right size so I'm going to turn on debug for a few different items then we'll go see if we can find one I don't think that there's a pink car but we can try and get a red one I do have this one that I think looks very similar so I'm going to use that one just because I don't think we're going to get a pink one I'm pretty sure I've looked before and there definitely isn't one but I think this looks kind Kind of close-ish to the car that she has so in which case i'm fine with them being a little bit further apart because it is quite a big car then obviously we do need to add a roof so what i'm going to do is just add these here remove that bottom section and then we can add a roof onto this little platform that we've made here. And then the idea is that we can then just shuffle it over so that we can add it on top and it's basically just one of these we can drag it over and then i can remove that platform that we made it's obviously very curved so we're going to do it like that pull up these edges and then i'm definitely going to flatten it a little bit as well something like that i think kind of works part of me is really tempted to use this so i think i'm i am just because it does have those different colored tiles i'm gonna have a quick look and just see whether there are any better ones but i feel like this actually works quite well because it's definitely got that more rustic feeling although it is a few different colored tiles that aren't necessarily broken in this so it might not work perfectly but i do think it fits with the color scheme quite well i could do a bit more to the front section so i'm gonna add a bunch of plants to either side here because we just have some bushes and stuff going around the outskirts and up next to these stairs we do have a little light as well just over here on the wall i'm just adding a variety of different bushes kind of to make it the level that will go like down like this just so that it kind of looks like it's filled in a bit more i think it's looking all right on that side i'm going to kind of do the same thing on this side just so we can get rid of some of this dirt look as well because it doesn't look that great but that is looking a little bit better now we do have another path as well obviously that leads all the way around so i need to find something that works for that obviously there is that terrain that does look like broken bits which is here and that kind of works just looks a little bit messy i'm going to see whether we can create a path in debug although that's going to take a, a lot longer so i'm going to use these i think which are kind of just like their own little slates you can get them in these slightly smaller ones as well which look a little bit more realistic but i think what i'm going to do is use these slightly square ones and i'm just going to build a path that goes all the way around from this section over here I'm literally just going to pick them up drag them around like this and then we're going to do that all the way around I'm going to leave some gaps as well just so that we can add some smaller ones in i'm just adding some slightly smaller ones in just to fill in any of these gaps and to make it look a bit more natural there we go i think that looks pretty good we do have dirt as well in there that just leads us all the way around the path which makes sense i'm gonna make it a bit rounder actually just remove that bit so i'm gonna add a little bit of dirt in just to make it feel like it's being walked on quite a bit and then finally i'm just gonna add in a bunch more plants all the way around the house but i'll skip that bit for you guys because it's not gonna be that exciting okay so i added just a bunch of plants all to this front section i also filled in this other section on the right which has a lot of plants as well so now like we can go ahead and kind of continue on with this i do think i need like maybe a few more over here but i'm not entirely sure just because i don't want to add too many and have it look a bit crazy i think maybe if we can just add a few just to make it not look as bare it might look a little bit better let's just add a few more i think and then we should be good to continue going so i added some more plants i'm just doing it this section round back now where we're we're basically just adding in a few additional bits just to make it look a little bit nicer. I don't think there's a whole lot going on in this back section, but I do obviously want to make it as realistic as possible.
possible. I think that kind of looks all right for the little steps that leads down. Obviously, it would lead all the way down to where the ocean is, but we can't really do that. So I'm going to start decorating the actual house now. Let's start with the roof. Obviously, right at the front of the house, we've got just this kind of roof. I think we do kind of need to sort out <laughs> actually these sections, which are just our balconies. I'm thinking this kind of looks the most similar if we can get it in the right color. The only issue is it would have to be identical to the color of the house. Otherwise, we will have to use like half walls or something. So let's pop that there for now and then we'll see what kind of colors we can do for the walls. Because obviously this house is a slight shade of yellow, which I think is going to be a little bit tricky to get. I think what we're going to actually have to do is just do half walls just because we're not going to be able to match that up properly otherwise. And I think I'm going to go with this yellow just because it is a little bit more textured, looks a little bit nicer, and then that's on everything. So now we can go ahead and make them into half walls. We'll try work out if there's any way that I can add some kind of like top to the half walls like it has on here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. What's good about using half walls though is that we can see that there is this strange kind of like thing at the front here that looks like kind of a grate, and at least then we'd be able to add that in quite easily. Now we can do our roof. So obviously we do just have this big roof right at the front here that goes all the way over here. Let's definitely make that a little bit shorter and I'm going to give it a slightly rounded tint to it as well just because it kind of has that in the picture. We then have this great thing right up there so I could either use this. I think there might be a few others that I'll just have a look at and see whether they have those but I'm going to pop that there for now just so that we can come back to it. Then let's go look at decorations real quick. We do have this round one that kind of fits as well or we even have this tiny window. So let's have a look at which one is kind of best. I am tempted by this just because it is perfect shape. Another alternative is that we actually kind of make our own by doing something like this, which I don't think looks amazing. Let's see if we make this smaller, but I think, will that work? I think that does actually kind of work. So let's go with that one. Then obviously we need a red roof. So even just something like that kind of works, or we have a bit more of a redder one there. It is kind of just like basic tiling though. So any of these will probably work. I think I'm just going to go with the classic one. Then looking at the back end of the house, it's actually something a little bit more like this. Okay, and then for our back section, I've just done this just to make it a little bit easier. It doesn't look amazing, but I think this roof, you just can't get it in The Sims, so we're going to have to just deal. Then let's go in and do all of our doors and windows, and then we should be almost ready to move on to the inside of the house. We do need to do actually our roofs on our back sections over here real quick. So for our front door, obviously we do have one of these big old sections directly above it with some roof. So I'm just going to copy the one that we put on the top and we can just make it smaller. And it does appear to have another one of these, so I'm just going to copy that and do another one up here. Then there is a wooden beam that goes all the way across here. I'm just going to use this curtain rail to do that. I believe that there is another one that goes around the center and it goes from like here and it goes to our door, but I'm just going to add the door in first. I actually feel like this is kind of as close as we're going to get to that door. Unfortunately, it doesn't reach this top part which is really annoying. What I could do is actually lower all of these and then it's kind of fine. I might actually lower this as well. Then I'm just going to add that smaller one in just right next to the door. Then obviously we do have our windows on either side here. Hopefully we can find some that actually fit and they are white. I'm going to go with these ones just because they have the right shape. Then we do have a couple of plants just either side of the door and they're just in like red plant pots. So I'm just going to add one there and then let's grab something similar. We go with this one. So we have the same thing on this side so I'm going to choose two different plants. I think those look pretty good. Then obviously we have the conservatory doors here which we definitely have a couple of those. There's a few different options of them to be honest so I'm not too sure which ones I'm going to pick. Obviously the plainer the better so something like this actually works quite well. Alternatively we have these ones which I think these look better because they are a bit plainer. We also have those upstairs so I'm going to add them upstairs and those are on each balcony. We do also appear to have them over here on this side just to get outside. Window wise we do have something like this where it actually sticks out and I think this one is probably the best option or this one but it doesn't really have the right colour scheme it needs to be white so we're probably going to have to end up sticking with this one but I'm just going to double check there's no other ones that stick out. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go with this one but let's place it and then just double check that we want to go with that colour. Obviously an alternative is just that we go with full white but then it does give us this sort of strange colour. Actually this one here we go. I knew that there'd be a perfect one for this. We've got one there and I believe we also have one around this side over. Then we've just got some kind of plain white windows so those should be quite easy to get. We don't have any super plain ones but I think that these ones kind of match with what we've already picked so I'm going to go with those. Now that we've finished the outside of the house we can finally move on to the inside. So obviously I am going to have to just make up a lot of this just because it won't work otherwise. We only have a certain amount of things that we can actually see in 
this so it is going to have to be a lot of guessing but obviously I'm going to do all of the rooms that we can actually see. I believe the main one being obviously a kitchen area and obviously the living like living and dining room. So I believe that it's split off here. Here is kind of where we've got our kitchen so we've probably not picked the best window for this because I think they actually have a bit more of a normal looking window. We have the dining table kind of in the middle here and then we've got the sofas over here. So I believe we've got a door over on this side because we can see that in the kitchen. Floor wise I believe that we have wood leading through basically the entire house so that's going to be quite easy. We'll choose this one because this one's quite a nice one. I think we've got it upstairs as well. Although we can see that it does actually have panes like singular ones so maybe something more like this might be a bit better. We've got individual planks rather than one big strip of wood. For our lights at the moment I'm just going to add these just so that we can actually see what we're doing and I can change them later because I do want to add in some warm lights instead. So I've rearranged some of the rooms a little bit because I think that over here we do seem to have somewhat of like a little alcove where we've got the fridge and we have like a cabinet. So I'm going to add those in now. I'm just going to go with this fridge because it's quite a rounded fridge. I realise that we haven't actually done our walls though. So obviously in the kitchen we have this gorgeous green tile. I'm going to do that in a second but it looks like we do just have sort of cream wallpaper in the rest of the living room. We definitely have some wooden beams on both sides here and then obviously this is the area where we can put our green tile. My only concern is that we're not going to get the lovely green tile that we can get in the actual thing. We do have this and I think that might be as close as we can get it which is definitely not as nice but I think we're just going to have to deal. Then for our counters it's basically like a light grey top with a main wooden drawers underneath that. I feel like this one's kind of as close as we're gonna be able to get to it. I'm actually looking at this I'm still wondering whether I'm just getting this completely wrong in terms of its layout because this actually looks like it does just continue around the corner and that it goes all the way down to here. I did absolutely scour the internet to see if I could find a blueprint for this and I literally couldn't find anything. So this is probably not completely accurate but I tried my best. <laughs> the issue that I'm finding is obviously we do need a like dining table to be able to fit here and this is definitely where the dining table is. Let's see about doing the dining table. It does have a tablecloth on it which I don't which always kind of makes it really difficult to work out because there are minimal amounts that actually have a tablecloth and the ones that do don't look particularly like what I'm going for. So I actually think in this circumstance we might just have to go with a wooden table sadly just because otherwise it's gonna look really strange and really out of place. So I'm gonna pop our dining table here because I think that that's about where it is in the film. Okay so it's looking like it's making a bit more sense now in terms of all of the different pieces. I've changed out some of the windows, moved a couple of bits around and it is looking a little bit more like the image now. We do obviously need a few more bits. I need one of these over this side just because there is a shelf that's just got a lot of storage in it. Then obviously over here we have some storage where we've just seemed to just have just like a bunch of random bits so I'm just going to continue that on. It doesn't even look like it's specifically kitchen things so that's fine. And basically just want it to look as cluttered as possible, which I think that looks pretty good now Next to that we seem to have like one picture and then some additional like storage for random cleaning items Maybe so I'm just gonna go with maybe just like a few of these things go with maybe a box a bucket We'll do another bucket as well just on top of these boxes I think that's looking a little bit more accurate now Then I think I'm just gonna add some more storage of just some right random stuff Then I do kind of just want to extend this over a bit like this. So that's looking pretty good pretty cluttered. Obviously we need to add in all our appliances and actually do our kitchen. So let's go our oven and then I believe they have a gas hob. So I'm just going to pop that directly on top. We do have a rice cooker in the corner so I'm just going to add that over here. So at the point, at this point I'm just kind of like adding random bits of clutter to make it look a little bit better because a lot of Studio Ghibli films tend to focus on having a heap ton of clutter in a lot of the rooms. I know that I haven't definitely got this correct because this part doesn't really look right but there's not really a whole lot that I can do. Okay, hey, everything's looking a lot more cluttered now. I really like that. I think it looks really cool. We've now got everything kind of in our kitchen and dining area sorted. We can now move over to the living area, which is over here. So obviously the 
big thing about this one is the sofas. So we've got these gorgeous green sofas. Again, I am very worried we're not going to be able to match that just because I don't think there's a whole lot of green items in The Sims and it's really disappointing. And of course, I don't really use mods, so I'm not going to go and search for them just so that you guys can still play this. This one is pretty perfect, but it's a little bit too big. And if I added another one in the other side, actually there's armchairs in the other side, so it might be okay. But we do need to have a bit more in there. It's a shame it's not a two-seater. Let's go see if there's any two-seaters that look similar. We do have this one, which I think, bar the fact that it's one whole cushion, this is actually a bit better, I think. Assuming that we can get armchairs that, that match this, which I'm really hoping we can. Okay, we can. We've got these ones, and I think these are literally the same. So that's good. We can now just make them a little bit more natural just by moving them in a little bit. I'm going to do the same with this and just put it on an ever so slight wonk just so that it feels like it's more lived in. Then, of course, we need the table in the middle. And this is technically just a coffee table. So let's go see if there's any good ones in there that match the wood tones that we've already. But actually, this is basically a, is it yellow? Yeah, it's a yellow kind of goldy toned table. So that's going to, I feel like, be a little bit harder to find but let's see if we can get anything so there's a few that i think might work this one looks okay just because it is that kind of yellowy color but obviously it does have a lot more shape to it than the well just very square shape of the one that's in the film we do then have a small sort of a cabinet type thing over in this corner and obviously we do have red curtains as well going around the door and then we seem to have some toys on top of that as well so i'm just adding a few random ones making them a few different sizes i think that looks all right for just some toys there's another cabinet over here, I believe. I think it might actually go all the way, but I'm not too sure. So I've added that one in. I'm just going to add some additional random bits of clutter scattered behind this sofa here. There's not like a mad amount of thought process that's going into what I'm picking. I know that there's sort of just some toys and things on there. I don't want it to look like too modern or anything either. There you go. I think that's about right in terms of clutter on that side of the room. I'm just going to grab curtains now. So obviously these are just sort of big red like plush kind of curtains so let's change the color to red and see what there is hopefully there's some that kind of match the size and we do need two of them so hopefully we can use the same ones on both sides so if we want them to be tied up on both sides we don't really have a whole lot of options i am considering this one but i know that that's not what they would have they would just have like a bar alternatively we could go with something like this but it doesn't work as well but i think we might kind of be stuck with it and then what we can do is basically just add two next to each other and there we go we've got our red curtain curtains. It's looking pretty good so far, I think. We have this section over here, which obviously is going to be a door. We don't actually see this section at all, and obviously we don't see the entrance hallway either, so I'm just going to have to kind of make those bits up. I imagine that they probably just have a lot of clutter, and obviously we need the stairs as well that lead us upstairs. What I'm going to assume is that it's probably got some kind of cabinet back here, so I'm just going to go grab a big one of those. Something like this, to be fair, kind of works. I think that actually looks looks pretty good. I'm going to pull these in a little bit as well. I think that looks pretty all right. It kind of is what I imagined that, that room would look like. I'm just going to add some additional things onto the walls and then I think we can move on to our hallway. Okay, I'm feeling like that's a little bit better. Definitely nice and cluttered. Perfect for any kind of Studio Ghibli film. So for this hallway, what I've done is I've lowered this front part because obviously in Japan, you tend to take off your shoes before you enter. So this is that area where you would do that. I'm also going to add a little area area over here where you could put like any coats or anything that you might have. Obviously this bit is entirely made up but there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Hopefully I've left enough space for the stairs. That's my one concern really. So the stairs do seem to drag off a little bit if I put it there. We could also do some spiral stairs which might actually work a bit better. Let's see would this fit. Okay that fits. I actually like that quite a lot so let's go with that instead. I do believe that there is also a desk in the kitchen but I'm honestly not sure if that is in the kitchen or whether it's a separate room so I'm going to just take it for now as it's a office space and I will just add it upstairs instead. So we just added some fresh shoes there and then we've got all the ones that they might have taken off. I'm just going to add a few final decorations and then we'll head upstairs. Okay so that's looking pretty good. Let's now head on up to our first floor where we can actually do all the bedrooms. So obviously we only see the kids bedroom in the film. So 
We only see Sasuke's bedroom, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to do the mums. We're going to have to just guess. I'm assuming that's also where the desk is, but I actually have a slight feeling it's downstairs. Obviously, we are going to need a bathroom as well, so we're going to have to work out where that's going to go. He does have access to a balcony, which is fine because we have three up here, so that should be quite easy. I believe that his room is probably this one based on where he looks out to the sea. It would be a bit confusing if it was placed anywhere else. So we're going to pop it there. We've got another bedroom or an office space over here and then I'm guessing that we're probably going to put the bathroom here and then obviously that would leave us with one final bedroom over here. We'll just do a small corridor. We, we don't really need it to be much bigger. So that's looking pretty good in terms of the layout. Did just realize we're going to have to make this slightly smaller otherwise we're not going to be able to get into the bathroom though. We can then add the bathroom there and there we go. This is definitely a bit of a strange shaped room but it's fine. I'm trying to work out which one. I'm I might make this the office and then we can make this the like adult bedroom just because of the sizing you wouldn't be able to fit a double bed in here which would obviously make it a bit difficult so obviously Sosuke has his own like wallpaper in his room instead of any other kind of colors so it's going to be kind of difficult to be able to match that from looking at the reference image though it appears to be mostly yellow with red e pink stripes down it with green pictures on the inside obviously we are not going to be able to duplicate that perfectly without mods so I'm just going to try and get I guess the color closest thing that we can. Something like this I feel like kind of works but it is very feminine. We'll see if there's any other kind of stripey wallpaper. We do have this one. Can we get that in a bit more plain? Obviously that is literally just stripey yellow. We'll put a few down and then decide after. So we've got that one, this one which I am actually tempted to use but then not gonna lie that's kind of it. So I think I am actually just gonna go with this one just because it does kind of fit it. I'm gonna use that in the parents room as well I think and then for the office I'm probably just going to use the same but if we're going off of the yeah it would be basically just this creamy color if we're going off of that one desk that we can see and then obviously we're going to have to completely make up what the bathroom looks like but I am tempted to go with maybe some kind of like blue if we can get this in maybe like a lighter blue that's a bit gray or just white tile but it doesn't look particularly good we might have to change the floor to be honest as well so let's change the floor first and then go from there obviously what I'm mainly thinking is just doing like white tile we go with this slightly creamier color Color, which I think looks a little bit nicer. I'm thinking of actually maybe going with that one. Let's see if we can match tile. I'm actually just going to go with a plain floor. I think that that looks a little bit better. We can't ma really match it up otherwise. So Sosuke has basically like a little side table over on this side. His bed is like almost in front of this door here, which is a bit strange. He obviously has some sort of greenish curtains. So let's see if we can get those curtains first. They obviously do have patterns on them, but I think it's very unlikely we're going to be able to get something like that. But I think for his curtains, we might just go with something a bit simple. We could go with that. His, this room's starting to look quite dated though, especially with this wallpaper, so I want to make sure it doesn't have that feeling to it. We could go with what we did downstairs, which I think I'm going to just because it seems to be the easiest way to get tied up curtains that don't look really old or like really expensive for some reason. His bed is basically just this very basic bed, no headboard, nothing, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find anything like that in this. We could, let's have a quick look and see if there's any in the parents bed type things, because this kind of works just because it has no headboard but it doesn't look great. Alternatively this which is a bit smaller the only issue is that this is a little bit too big. The room just isn't big enough to be able to have because he's got a wardrobe over this side as well so we couldn't be able to fit that in which is kind of annoying. We don't really have like a whole lot of options. I could just put it there and then we'll have to see how it looks. I am weirdly feeling like all of this needs to be moved over a bit but then it's we're gonna struggle a little bit with the weird shaping because I feel like this side kind of needs it as well. Let's mm, no because then it's gonna be the a weird part with this part. I think this just needed to be like one square bigger which is really annoying that we're finding this out now. I think overall it's kind of fine. I am gonna put the bed there and then we'll just have to see. I could also just put the wardrobe somewhere else. It's not gonna look as accurate though is the problem. Alternatively, we could use a toddler bed, but obviously I wouldn't really, like, I don't know if I would class Sosuke as a toddler, just because he can talk quite well, and but I guess, like, he's somewhat a toddler. I would class Ponyo as a toddler, so I, and I don't think he's that much older than her. So these are the two beds that we could use if we went with sort of a toddler instead, which I don't like. I like them more than I think the bigger beds, just because they don't have as much headboard. Then I think, say if we went with this one, we could push it 
it up to like there and that makes a bit more sense. Yeah, let's go with that one. I like the slightly lighter blue as well. He does actually have a headboard. I only just noticed it's just a little wooden one. And then we've got a small side table just right next to that, right next to him there that just has some toys on it. Going to add a couple more toddler items as well in there just because we've now selected him as a toddler so that you could actually play this and have it be a functional sort of build. We've then obviously got his wardrobe off to the right hand side here, but we are definitely not going to be able to get that in the game just because it looks very strange and it's got basically like a curtain over the outside of it instead of it being actually made out of wood or anything. So I'm just going to try and find I guess like a quite light looking wardrobe. I think something like this kind of works because it's got like the stickers and stuff on it. It looks cute. He does also look like he has a table in there so I'm just going to add a little table with some toys on it just in the center of the room here. I can't see it like super well so I'm just going to kind of guess that it looks a little bit like this. It's probably square but I wanted to just add that one because it looks a bit nicer in the room. Then we'll just add in a couple of toys. He does look like he's got a clock on the left hand side as well over here. Have I never seen this absolutely massive clock before? That thing is huge. I'm just going to add some random bits of clutter as well because his room looks very cluttered. Then obviously we do have quite a lot of wall space. I'm thinking over here we could have some kind of short like cabinet or something just because that would kind of make sense to go here. Maybe something like this. That looks pretty good and we can add some more items onto there as well. Seems to be really into boats so I'm going to add a big boat onto there. Then we can add some additional pictures and stuff and then I think that's pretty good. I don't think there's a whole lot else that we can add in. I actually want to see if there's any shelves that we can maybe add over. Okay I think that's pretty good for his room then. Now I'm going to move over to this side and we're just going to do the desk space that we can see which I believe is actually downstairs but we may as well put it up here just because I'm not even sure where it even went downstairs. Really wish that they had a floor plan but I think I'm going to do maybe it either here or there. I think I'm going to put it over here. There is a cork board as well like on this side next to the desk so I'm just going to add that there and then the actual desk itself seems to just have a lot of books and loads of storage all behind it. So what I think I'm going to do is just place two of these here and then we can add the desk in underneath. I don't know if that's going to work but let's have a look and see. The desk would have to be somewhere like here. I think that somewhat works. Yeah if I change the colour I think that works pretty well. So then let's move this over here. So then we've got our desk with all of our different bits in there. I'm going to add some additional books and things as well just because that is a little bit empty. There's a few empty holes in there. So I've added just a few more things in there. Obviously we do have a big light on the left hand side of this desk as well. So let's go see if we can find something similar. I don't know if we're going to get one that's as wide as that but I think there are a few things that are a close second. Now I've added a PC and then I'm just going to add the chair which is a, one of these very classic chairs. I think we could do it in red probably. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be red. It's kind of a bit more of a maroon colour, but I don't think we're going to get that. So there's the small little office space. We do have this big section over here, which I'm thinking we could just add some books to, make it even more book heavy. Maybe even something like this, just where it looks like it's a lot. This room is obviously a little bit less cluttered. I'm going to see whether we can maybe add a bit more clutter. Just going to add basically just some pictures and some... I think we might probably need more plants. We haven't really added a lot of plants inside, only outside. But I think that looks a little bit better now we've added some plants and a light and obviously all of these books over here so I think that's pretty much done now obviously we can move over to the parents room at this point we're just kind of making up what it kind of would look like just because we haven't got like any references for the parents rooms the office space other than that one desk and of course we don't have any references for the bathroom either so I'm gonna add the double bed in for the parents room just directly in the middle of the room there obviously we do want some curtains as well so I'm gonna use the same curtains so that we have a bit of consistency maybe go with some kind of red like we did downstairs or maybe we can mi mix it up a bit do a bit of a different color I don't want to do the ones that are like split colors though because they look a bit strong we'll go orange that looks all right yeah I don't mind that I'm going to add them to here as well we're going to do two side tables and then do maybe a lamp on one and some plants on the other there we go I think that looks pretty good and then we need to add in our bed I think we're going to go with something like this one or do we have one that maybe isn't as now they're all pretty like torn up a little bit but I actually kind of like it because it looks a bit rustic and there's no headboard which I think looks a bit nicer. Something like that looks kind of cool. Then I think let's do a wardrobe type thing at the bottom here. I don't know if they're going to be able to get into this room if I put it there so I might have to do just a single one. I'm going to move it off and we'll put it over here. Right and they added in some pictures. Obviously we've got some plants as well and I think that room looks pretty good. It's quite a small room so I don't want to add too much to it. Then let's move on to our final room 
which is the bathroom. I do not know whether I want to add a few things also to this hallway, but there's not really a whole lot of space. We do have a little bit at the end though. I might add just like something like this to the end of it, just so we've got some things. I feel like they might have a rug as well. I think there was actually a rug in the kitchen that I missed that was just like a slightly long like patterned one. So I might have to go back and add that. But for this one, I might just add something like this or if they got a square one, something like this actually kind of works. Yeah, let's add that one there. And then downstairs, I think there was one as well, just stretching down this bit. So something like that kind of works if I can get it a bit darker. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, then obviously up here in the bathroom, I'm thinking what we could do is um, have, I guess, the toilet and the sink over here and have a bath over on this side. I think go something like this because they have a little bit of color in a lot of the rooms. Do kind of want a cabinet here as well, just because we do have the space for it. Go with something like that so that it's got extra towels and things in it. Then I think I'll add just a couple of, um, maybe just one robe. Yeah, we'll add one robe in there. Kind of don't like that color though. Let's go with green instead. Then finally a little bath mat. Not a big fan of that color. I think it's because it's quite dark. Yeah, there you go. That one looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, okay. I like that room. I think it looks nice. So I think that's everything then. And there we have it. We've made the entire house from the film Ponyo in The Sims 4. I think this came out looking really cool. I think the floor plan is probably not super accurate, but it was very difficult in order for me to find any kind of references. Obviously, I mostly just watched the film and then went off of the film itself. I do think that this is a very usable house though. It looks super cute from the outside. We've got some additional storage outside as well for you to add any other kind of bits in that you'd want to. I think that it looks super unique and I think it does look pretty accurate to the way it looks in the actual film, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I have uploaded this on the gallery as well. So if you'd like to download it, you can type in Ponyo's house or check out my ID under Hextra Hunt. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I try to post a long video every single week and I post shorts as well. If you enjoyed this video, there is another recommended video on the screen now, so check that one out too and I hope you all have a great evening.